Welcome students. Today we will solve third problem on kinetics of particles based on Newton's second law. So let us start today's lecture. So we are given one statement over here. Let us read that statement. The bob of a 2 meter pendulum describes an arc of circle in a vertical plane. If the tension in the cord is 2.5 times the weight of the bob for the position shown, find the velocity and the acceleration of the bob in that position. Take 30 degree as the angle of the pendulum with the vertical. So we are given this situation over here and we are shown this position of this bob and in this position we are given that pendulum makes 30 degree with the vertical and mass of the bob is given to us as m and length of the pendulum is 2 meters and we have to find the velocity and acceleration of the bob in this position and it is mentioned that tension in the cord tension in the cord is 2.5 times the weight of the bob. So let us solve this problem now. So the very first step is we have to draw free body of the bob. So in order to draw free body of the bob, first of all we will represent that bob on paper and we will show two directions for that bob. One will be tangent to the path second will be normal to the path that is directed towards the center. So we have shown those two directions. One is tangent to the path. Second is normal to the path that is directed towards center. So this is tangential direction. This is normal direction. Now let us see what forces we have to represent in the free body of this bob. So the first force will be the weight of the bob which will act in downward direction and we will call it as W equal to mg where m is the mass of the bob given to us in this problem and g is the acceleration due to gravity and this normal is given to us at 30 degrees with the vertical it means this angle will also be 30 degrees which this weight will make with the normal. Now the second force which we have to represent in the free body of bob will be the tension in this cable. So in this cable tension will act towards the center and we will label that tension as T. And it is mentioned in the problem that tension in the cable is 2.5 times the weight of the bob. And we know weight of the bob is mg. So we have represented T equal to 2.5 mg. Now these are the forces acting on the bob and we know bob is in motion. So these forces are responsible for two types of acceleration of the bob. One will be the tangential acceleration, tangent to the path and second will be normal acceleration that is directed towards the center. So we will say summation Ft means sum of the forces acting tangentially to the path will be equal to mat. Then we will say summation Fn that is sum of the forces acting along the normal will be equal to man. Now let us use these equations one by one. So let us first use summation Ft is equal to mat. Now let us see how many forces are acting along tangent to the circular path. Over here in this free body, we have two forces. One is acting along normal and second is acting at some angle to tangent and to normal. And it has angle of 30 degrees with the normal. It means we have to resolve this weight into its components. So this will be cos component, this will be sine component. So along normal its component will be mg cos 30 degrees 
and along tangent its component will be mg sin 30 degrees it means in this free body we have only one force acting tangentially to the circular path so that is mg sin 30 and it will be equal to m80 where m is the mass of the bob 80 is the tangential acceleration of the bob so from here m will cancel out and we will get tangential acceleration of the bob as 4.90 meter per second square so we have got our first answer now we will apply the second equation that is summation fn is equal to man now let us see how many forces are acting along the normal there are two forces one is the tension t which is equal to 2.5 mg and second is the component of the weight that is mg cos 30 degrees now we will consider that force positive which is acting in the direction of the acceleration so we will consider t positive and component of this weight negative so final equation will be 2.5 mg minus mg cos 30 is equal to m a n m will cancel out and we will get value of a n as 16.03 meter per second square so we have got second answer so we have got acceleration of the bob along tangent and along normal now next we have to find velocity of the bob for this position and for this we will use the formula of the normal acceleration which is v square upon r so from here we will get velocity of the bob because r is given to us as 2 meters so we have replaced r by 2 and a n we have already calculated as 16.03 meter per second square so we'll put the value of an over here and we will get v as 5.66 meter per second so we have found the acceleration of the bob and velocity for the position shown to us i hope this answer is clear to you thank you very much